Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Sessions team. I am Sanjay. Now inside this video session guys, we will see about more about regular expression patterns. And this is the continuation of the previous part. In the previous part, we had seen about all the discussion or the complete details of using regular expressions in MySQL. Inside this video, we are going to choose about the meta character's behavior to our means to develop our flexible search patterns using regular expressions. So if I back to our MySQL, so inside this database, right now we have two tables. So if I open TVL users, now we are going to develop search patterns or the regular expressions. So open SQL tab. Now inside this users table, we have name and the email address. Now let's say that we want to select all the data from this table where email address contain about the keyword let's say gmail1. Means gmail1 is not the keyword basically starts or basically ends. It is a service string. So we want to select all the data from this table where email address must contain about gmail1 characters inside the email list. So go inside SQL tab and let's say that select all from something TBL users let's say where email equal to this is our column name and here we have to provide about the regular expression keyword and inside the single quotes or double quotes we need to provide our regular expression pattern so let's say that as we know that gmail1 is not the keyword which basically starts or basically ends it is a service string so simply we need to write the regular expression in within single quotes about only the keywords or the characters called gmail1 so if i press ctrl enter now as we can see that we have two users which have their email address keyword like user1 at gmail1.com user6 at gmail1.com so back to table now inside this table as we know that the name section starts with u s and t the first characters of the name of this users now let's say that we are going to select all the users from this table where the first letter means it starts with the keyword like u or let's say t means we are not going to select about as name users so how can we write our regular expressions so if i copy this query open sql tab and pasting it here and let's say that we are name equal to so let's say name and here we have to provide the regular expressions so we want that the first character should start with either u and t so we need to provide u or t so simply write t here all done so if i press ctrl enter now as we can see that inside this list we have selected all the users where name the first letter of the name starts with u or t so let's say that in case some scenario we have thousands of users so the search keyword only we have to provide or the characters only inside this square bracket now let's say that we want to select all the users from this table where the first letter does not have the starting value like s or let's say t or let's say u so if i go here copy this query open sql tab now let's say that we want that the first letter should not contain about the value u so i am writing it here and the t it means that the name must not start with the letter u or t it is going to select all the s letter name so if i press ctrl enter now inside the output as we can see here like only two users we have called sample user 5 and sample user 6 
it is not containing any extra record with the name of u or t because we have excluded that. Now, so far we had seen about if I open about a slide, we had seen that how can we check the starting point of the character. Also, we had seen that if suppose any characters end, we are going to use called the dollar symbol. These are the two symbols actually we had seen in the last video. Inside this video, we had seen that if we want to provide more characters should start, then we need to provide inside this bracket. Also, we had seen that if we want to exclude about the result set from any specific characters, then we need to provide inside this bracket. It means that the name must not contain about the value or should start from the keywords like T, R and IE. If I again back to table, now let's say that we are going to select all the data from this table when name starts with our first letter something U and let's say that first letter something T. Means we are going to use two patterns, either is U or let's say that it will contain about the sample keyword, simply sample keyword. So if I open SQL tab, now let's say that select, let's say all from TBL users, let's say users, via name equal to something regular expression. And here we are going to provide our pattern. So the first pattern, something let's say that we are going to start with the first letter, something U. Now, if we want to select all the users as well, which contains the keyword like sample. So here I'm going to provide called or operator. So let's say or name regular expression, which contains the keyword called sample. Now, if I press control enter, now, as we can see that inside this list, we have selected all the data which contains the first keyword as U and the sample as a keyword. Means we have used two regular expression patterns. Now, we have one more alternative way that is more efficient to before that use. So, open a SQL tab, pasting it here. Now, as we know that we have used two regular expression patterns means pattern 1 and the pattern 2. So we have one more options or one more meta characters to use multiple patterns into a single quotes and something like this. Now this is all we know that this is our first pattern. In the second pattern simply provide a pipe symbol and I am to write sample here. Now this is our second pattern. So if I press Ctrl Enter, now as we can see that we are getting the same data what we are getting previously. So if I copy this SQL tab back to a slide, pasting it here. Now inside this query, this is our first pattern and this is our second pattern. Now this is used as OR operator. We have seen that we had used about OR operator, but instead of OR operator, now this is the efficient way to use regular expression patterns. Now, if I back to MySQL database, now let's see about the use of dot and the star in the regular expression patterns. So, open SQL tab. Now, let's say that if I write simple about the regular expression, something called select all from something TBL users, let's say via name, this is regular expression keyword and let's say that the characters must start with U and T. This simply regular expression means that we are going to select all the data where name, their first characters should start from U or T. Now if I provide a star here, so inside this query, simply starts means that we are going to select either U or T or more characters. Means star simply represents about one or more characters. So either the first letter should contain U, T or any characters. So if I press Ctrl Enter. Now as we can see here inside this list, the first character containing U 
or U naught, T or T naught. So simply star means about selecting any one or more data. But instead of using our star symbol, if I go to SQL tab and instead of a star, if I put simply a dot symbol. So simply using dot zoom symbol something dot actually dot is, is not visible so if I copy about the syntax copy query and if I back to a slide pasting it here now inside this query the dot simply means the first letter at least have one character either U or T so back to Chrome and if I press Ctrl enter now as we can see that is strictly we have followed about the starting character like U or T so simply from the two examples we understood about that simply here a start means a star characters it means that one or means no or more character either it will start with U T or any characters but using dot it means that at least at least one character we have to write here so basically guys by the help of this video session or going through this meta character behavior chart actually we had seen our some regular expression patterns which is useful to make our flexible search data if i back to my sql now inside this table if i make one more change inside this email address so let's say that the email address something with the different names so it will start with the capital t actually I want to show some more extra patterns on the behalf of these values and also gmail.gmail1.com and also here let's say that this should be something with the start of Y and also let's say that if I change something with the email address something here it should be something with the H now let's say that we want to select and before making our query let's change this email address as well so let's say that this should be t here now what we want we want to select all the details from this table where the email address should start with the letter t and y and also must end with gmail1.com so go to sql tab now if I copy this query open a SQL tab pasting it here now what we want we want that the email address email address must, must start with the letter T or Y so dot here because we are going to use one or more characters after that it will contain some more characters and the, at the end it will end called Gmail one.com at the end so this is and symbol so if I make copy of this query back to slides and pasting it here now inside this query what basically we have written so we are going to select like one or more characters means the name starts with either T sorry email address must starts with T or Y after starting that it will contain more characters and finally at the end it will end with the values called gmail1.com now this is the starting value we have restricted now this is the end and in the middle of that string it will contain any values so if I go here and press ctrl enter now as we can see that we have selected two users which is starts with the letter called T and Y after that it contains extra characters like user1 at user6 at and finally with the keywords like gmail1.com it has ended so successfully we are now able to make complex regular expression patterns which increases about the efficient way to search our data throughout the table.
So successfully guys, by the help of this video session now, we are able to make our regular expression patterns to search data from MySQL. And I strongly recommend that before starting this video or before means seeing this video, just go to the previous lecture. Because in the previous video session actually, we had understood about the meta characters as well as the theoretical concept of regular expression. So while going through that video actually, you will get some more idea on the behalf of regular expressions. So by the help of our previous video and this current video means by the help of these two videos actually, we are going to take about the complete details of regular expressions. Now by the help of these videos, you are now able to make complex search patterns to make efficient of means efficient of search over MySQL database. So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.